When Claire discovered she was pregnant, everyone, especially Yavin, was overjoyed. Their happiness quickly turned into confusion and devastation. When their son was born with black skin, despite both parents being white, they couldn't comprehend how this could happen. It took three years for the truth to surface, causing turmoil across multiple generations of their family. Claire and Alvin had met over a decade ago when Alvin, a handyman, was hired to renovate rooms at the hotel where Claire worked as a manager. They hit it off instantly and soon began dating. Their relationship was filled with love and compatibility, and they were content with their childless lives. They had plans to buy a house, travel, and enjoy their prime years together before considering children. So when Claire shared her unexpected pregnancy news, Alvin's initial shock turned into excitement. And their family of two was about to become three. Everyone celebrated the couple's joy. Except for Alvin's mother. Margaret. She expressed worry and apprehension. But Alvin dismissed it as her crankiness since her husband's passing. However. Margaret was present at the hospital when Claire gave birth. The moment the baby emerged. Both Alvin and Claire were shocked to see that he had black skin. Alvin immediately approached his mother. Sharing the news, Margaret's response was to suggest that Claire had cheated on him. Despite Alvin trusting his wife and denying any infidelity, seeds of doubt were sown in his mind. Margaret continued to push the theory that Claire had been unfaithful, claiming that Alvin deserved better than a lying wife. Alvin's thoughts raced, trying to make sense of the situation. How could they have a black baby if both parents were white? Claire had no answers, desperately trying to reassure her husband and find explanations. Unfortunately, the doubt overpowering Alvin led him to file for divorce several weeks. After their son's birth, three years passed as the divorce was finalized and the couple lived in separate houses with minimal contact, only communicating during custody handovers. Their once perfect relationship seemed like a distant dream. However, one day, Claire reached out to Alvin with a suggestion. She proposed doing a DNA test to finally uncover the truth. Despite Margaret's advice against it, Alvin agreed. They sent in samples of their DNA hopeful that it would provide clarity. In the following week, Claire and Alvin anxiously sat in the doctor's office, awaiting the test results. Margaret accompanied them but remained silent in a corner. The atmosphere was tense as the doctor revealed the shocking truth. The baby was indeed biologically the son of both Claire and Alvin. The DNA test confirmed their parenthood. They looked at each other with puzzled and shocked expressions. While the doctor explained how recessive genes could surface after generations, causing such unexpected appearances, the revelation thawed the icy atmosphere between the former lovers. As they gazed at each other, confusion and shock still evident, they realized the truth. Margaret's guilt-ridden expression caught their attention, and Alvin questioned her further. Finally, she confessed the heartbreaking story. Many years ago, Margaret had an affair with a black co-worker which resulted in pregnancy. The man had to leave the country, leaving Margaret to marry a white man, convincing him that the child was his. When Alvin was born white, the secret remained buried. Sadly, Margaret was unaware of the potential re-emergence of recessive genes across generations. Both Claire and Alvin were stunned by Margaret's heart-wrenching deception. Their minds swirling with a mix of emotions. The revelation cut deep. As they realized how she had deliberately driven a wedge between them. Tearing their once happy family apart. Their hearts ached at the thought of the love and trust that had been shattered by her actions. As the truth settled in. Anger and disappointment welled up within Claire and Alvin. They grappled with the betrayal, 
questioning how Margaret could have carried such a devastating secret for so long, and allowed it to inflict irreparable damage on their relationship. The pain of knowing that their separation was based on a lie deeply wounded them both. Yet, amidst the turmoil, there was a glimmer of hope. Alvin, his voice trembling with remorse, mustered the courage to reach out and gently take Claire's hand. His eyes pleaded for forgiveness. Acknowledging the immense hurt he had caused by doubting her faithfulness. Claire. With her remarkable capacity for empathy and understanding. Saw the genuine remorse in Alvin's eyes and recognized the torment. He had endured under Margaret's manipulative influence. In that moment. A fragile thread of love still lingered between them. It whispered of the beautiful memories they had shared. The dreams they had woven together. And the unbreakable bond they had once believed in. Though scarred, their hearts yearned to rebuild what had been shattered. To find solace in each other's arms once more. Leaving the hospital room hand in hand. Their steps were tentative yet resolute. The weight of their journey ahead pressed upon them. Knowing that healing would not come easily or swiftly. They carried the burden of their painful past. But also the possibility of a brighter future. Relief washed over them as they held on to the undeniable truth that their precious child was. Indeed. Biologically theirs. It was a beacon of hope. A lifeline to guide them through the darkness. With each passing moment. They pieced together fragments of their shattered lives. Determined to rebuild a foundation that had been shaken to its core. Their hearts were heavy with anger and disappointment towards Margaret. Whose web of lies had nearly destroyed their family. They grappled with the complexity of their emotions. Mourning the lost years and the innocence tainted by deceit. The wounds would take time to heal. And forgiveness seemed like a distant shore on an uncertain horizon. Yet. In the depths of their pain. Love persisted. It whispered of second chances. Of resilience. And of the strength to overcome. Claire and Alvin held on to that flicker of hope. Vowing to protect their child from the shadows of deceit they had endured. Together. They embarked on a journey to reclaim their lives. Fortified by their shared commitment to rebuild what had been broken. As they stepped forward into the unknown. They knew the road ahead would be fraught with challenges. But armed with empathy. Forgiveness. And a renewed appreciation for the fragility of trust. They embraced the possibility of rekindling their love and creating a future. Where honesty and transparency prevailed. A young boy named Brian Siam, only seven years old, woke up in a hospital room, recovering from an illness. He looked at his father, Dar, Brian CM, and with innocence in his eyes, called out to him, Dar, Brian CM, a seasoned young doctor, felt a deep emotional connection with cases like that of little Sarubi another patient he had treated. It reminded him of the immense journey he had undertaken to reach this point in his life and the weight of the decision he was about to make. Brian's story began far away from his birthplace in Africa. He was born in Ireland. In the loving embrace of a Catholic family. Who provided him with economic stability and a promising future. However, the political situation in Ireland during that time shattered his idyllic childhood. The country was engulfed in armed conflict between official forces and insurgent urban armed groups. Tragically, Brian's parents fell victim to an explosion caused by the insurgent group during a dinner at a restaurant. In an instant, his life changed forever, and a future filled with pain and hardship seemed inevitable. During the months following his parents' death, Brian's fears became a reality. The government authorities, preoccupied with the ongoing conflict, dealt with the issue of orphan children in a somewhat perfunctory manner. 
Brian was shuffled from one juvenile center to another. Where the quality of food was poor. And the treatment of inmates was harsh. Just as he was beginning to resign himself to this bleak existence. An unexpected turn of events brought a glimmer of hope into his life. A married couple. Who had tragically lost their own child in one of the attacks that ravaged the country. Expressed interest in adopting him. Overwhelmed by the pain of their loss. They longed to provide love and care to a child in need. The couple visited several centers for minors until they arrived at the hospital. Where Brian was receiving treatment. His story deeply touched them. And upon meeting him. They were captivated by the sight of the young boy with his blonde hair. The decision to adopt Brian was a resolute one. Cemented by their face-to-face -face encounter. The adoption procedures were swiftly completed. And within days. Brian found himself embraced by the warmth of his new family. This marked a turning point in his life. Rescuing him from the predicted hardships of his childhood. He grew up in a nurturing home. Where he lacked nothing, ample food. Education. And most importantly. An abundance of love. These ingredients transformed the once futureless boy into an enthusiastic. An intelligent young man. Filled with a desire to contribute to society as a useful doctor. Brian's aspirations aligned with his adoptive parents' desires. And they wholeheartedly supported him in his journey. Thus. He embarked on his adulthood with an insatiable thirst to explore the world. And showcase his abilities. However. His humanistic ideals clashed with the cold pragmatism of the medical academy. Which often viewed medicine as a means of profit. This initial discord with his professors led him to contemplate abandoning his studies. But the unwavering voice of his parents. Filled with advice and encouragement. Fortified his resolve. Brian resolved to persevere in his medical studies. Absorbing all the knowledge and wisdom his professors imparted while rejecting the utilitarian view of medicine. He vowed that once he became a doctor, he would prove that he had not succumbed to the allure of wealth, and that his true motive remained serving society. Brian stayed true to his words, weathering many challenges with patience, even in the face of frustration. As he completed his university studies in medicine, he distinguished himself as one of the finest students of his generation. Graduating with honors. This achievement marked the first acid test of his determination. Soon after graduating. Brian received a tempting offer to assume the directorship of a renowned hospital. In the city where he had completed his studies. The financial package was undoubtedly attractive. Presenting an extraordinary opportunity for a newly minted doctor. However, as Brian carefully deliberated the proposition, he foresaw a future of ceaseless meetings, suffocating paperwork, and a lack of hands-on patient care. Moreover, the city boasted an enviable status of having one of the highest levels of human development in Europe, complete with an efficiently functioning healthcare system. While this might have been a dream come true for many, Brian felt a profound yearning to make a difference beyond the confines of a well-established and flourishing medical environment. He recognized that his potential to enact meaningful change would be somewhat restrained. In such a city, Brian's decision to chart a different course was an existential turning point. In a moment that would redefine his life's trajectory, he chose to forego the allure of a prestigious position and instead pledged his commitment to the International Red Cross, an organization dedicated to alleviating human suffering and addressing urgent medical needs in vulnerable communities worldwide. This change in direction didn't entirely please his parents, but they understood that they couldn't always be by his side. Their deepest desire, even after their passing, was to know that their son had a purposeful vocation that would sustain him. When Brian reminded his parents that it was their advice. That had encouraged him to continue his studies and help others. 
they chose not to oppose his wishes. They resigned themselves to the fact that their son would become a Red Cross volunteer. Brian had never been happier than during this phase of his life. Despite the absence of a steady job and financial stability, the opportunity to pursue his dreams outweighed everything else. His work with the Red Cross extended beyond the confines of his hometown, encompassing hygiene and vaccination campaigns in small rural towns, where the local healthcare system was deficient. With each passing day, Brian's desire to reach more remote and impoverished areas grew stronger. He yearned to be where he could be truly useful. Eventually, that day arrived when a request came from the Red Cross headquarters in Geneva. They sought a local volunteer. And due to Brian's dedication and his status as a graduate doctor, the local officials wasted no time in recommending him. Brian wholeheartedly accepted the proposal without a moment's hesitation. The biggest challenge was breaking the news to his parents. His mother cried inconsolably, pleading with him to reconsider. His father, feeling hurt, expressed regret, stating that they would not have adopted him if they had known he would leave them. Despite the emotional turmoil, Brian remained determined and waited for the designated date. He packed his bags and embarked on a journey to the African continent. The subsequent six years spent in Africa proved to be the most difficult yet. Happiest of Brian's life. He had finally found his purpose. And dedicated himself wholeheartedly to the care of those most in need. It was painful for him to witness the violence. Hunger. Lack of services. And corruption that plagued the continent. He struggled with the realization that he was privileged compared to the millions who faced daily hardships. However, he felt fortunate that he had chosen not to be indifferent to this reality and had committed his life to making a difference. One day, while returning from a health brigade in a remote village in the African desert, Brian noticed a lifeless body lying amidst the suffocating sands. The child was barely breathing. Without hesitation, Brian rushed to the child's side, providing immediate first aid and urgently transporting him to the nearest hospital. With desperation in his eyes and wearing his Red Cross insignia, Brian pleaded for help. For a week, the child, Sarabi, teetered between life and death. Throughout this period, Brian visited him unwaveringly learning about the plight of abandoned children in Africa. Desert mothers, unable to feed all their children due to poverty, were often compelled to abandon those with the slimmest chances of survival. After eight agonizing days, Sarabi finally opened his eyes. Although unconscious, he remembered a dream where a white man had rescued him, cradling him in his arms. As Sarabi awoke, he addressed Brian spontaneously, calling him father. Overwhelmed by emotions, Brian broke down in tears, embracing the young boy and recalling the journey that had led them to this moment. From the death of his biological parents to his decision to travel to Africa, he saw a reflection of himself in Sarabi, who, due to different circumstances, resembled him. Motivated by an unwavering commitment to creating a nurturing family environment for Sarabi, Brian navigated the complex and arduous adoption process without delay. Being a single father and an international Red Cross volunteer seeking adoption presented significant challenges. Nevertheless, Brian's persistence and dedication ultimately triumphed over bureaucratic hurdles, allowing him to secure full custody of the young boy. The legal journey required tireless efforts, countless forms, and unwavering determination. But Brian's unwavering love for Sarabi propelled him forward. With Sarabi officially becoming his son, Brian recognized that his time in Africa had reached its natural conclusion. Returning to Ireland, he experienced a heartwarming reunion with his parents. Overjoyed by the arrival of their grandson, 
They embraced Sarabi with open arms. Welcoming him into their family and providing the warmth and stability of a loving home. However. Brian's passion for humanitarian work. And his commitment to the Red Cross remained undiminished. He understood that his duty to serve others extended far beyond geographical boundaries. Despite settling back in Ireland. He continued to volunteer for the Red Cross. Persistently seeking ways to make a positive impact on a global scale. Brian's unwavering dedication led him to participate in various Red Cross initiatives. Both locally and internationally. He engaged in disaster response efforts. Collaborating with teams to provide emergency medical care. And humanitarian aid in crisis-stricken regions. Furthermore. Brian actively participated in health promotion campaigns, utilizing his medical expertise to educate communities on disease prevention and healthy living practices. In addition to his work with the Red Cross, Brian played a pivotal role in advocating for vulnerable populations. He became a vocal spokesperson, shedding light on the pressing issues faced by those living in poverty, conflict zones, and underserved communities. Through public speaking engagements, interviews, and written publications, he raised awareness and mobilized support for initiatives aimed at addressing the root causes of suffering and inequality. Despite the demands and challenges he faced, Brian ensured that he maintained a strong connection with Sarabi throughout his volunteer endeavors. He imparted invaluable life lessons to his son, instilling in him the importance of empathy, compassion, and the responsibility to contribute to society. Together, they became a powerful force, inspiring others through their unwavering commitment to humanitarianism. The bond between Brian and Sarabi grew stronger with each passing day, as they navigated the complexities of their unique family dynamic. Brian's parents, overjoyed to witness the profound love between father and son, offered unwavering support, serving as pillars of strength for the entire family unit. Brian's life continued to be a testament to his unwavering dedication to serving others. While his path diverged from the conventional trajectory of a doctor, he found immense fulfillment in the transformative power of volunteer work. His decision to prioritize humanitarian service over a lucrative career marked a turning point. That shaped the lives of countless individuals. Including Sarabi. Brian's remarkable journey not only brought healing and hope to those in need. But also served as an inspiration to others. Igniting a spark of compassion and a sense of purpose in individuals from all walks of life. Through his tireless efforts. He exemplified the profound impact one person can have on the world. Illustrating the potential for positive change that lies within each individual's hands.